Today we are going to create this 3D floating holographic UI animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create, so let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and in order to create this animation, I'm going to use this video footage which I just recorded of me doing this simple gesture. And it's completely up to you, you can record yourself however you want. And after that, just import the video in After Effects and you are ready to go. So once you're done with this, we can begin by creating a new composition for the video. So let's just simply select this and let's drag it onto this and it will create a composition. Now just pick some of the points from where you want your video to start. So let's just trim the video and I'm going to like trim it from here and let's just move the endpoint to this point. So this is the region I want to animate. After that, right click trim com to work area. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to track our footage. So for that, we can use the tracking window. So go to windows and from here, you can just enable the tracker. And after that, it will give you this window. And under this, make sure that this video is selected. Just click on track motion. Now here we have this tracking point and we can easily go to a location. So let's go to somewhere around here. Now we can zoom in and click and hold this tracking point. You can just place it wherever you want. Let me just quickly set the quality to full. And if I go back, you can see we are able to see these hairs and just simply pick a point which is high contrast. So somewhere around here. Now I'm not picking this point at the watch somewhere around here because if I press play you can see as I'm touching the watch it is moving a lot and this will make our whole UI move a lot which I don't want so I'm going to pick this point somewhere around here and once you're happy with your tracking point you can just simply click on this plus or this play button and now you can see that it will start tracking and your tracking point will stick to its surface and it will take some time to complete it fully now our tracking is done and if I zoom in you can see that our point nicely sticks to the surface. Now, sometimes you will see that our tracking point will like move a lot. So for example, it will move something like that. Now it will create this like very weird spike. Uh, in that case, you can just manually move your tracking point to its position and it will fix that. So this track is very nice and we can work with that. So once you're done with this, we are ready to copy this tracking data into a null object. So for that, let's add a null object. Right click, let's add null. And once you're done with this, go to the tracking panel, click on edit target. And after that, select the null object, which you just created, click on OK. And once you're done with this, just click on apply and just click on OK. And it will copy all of this data. Now you can see that your this null object will like start moving along with this. Perfect. In order to check whether you have like tracked perfectly, you can just randomly create a rectangle, something like that let's just set this to white now let's select this and parent it to this null object now if i press play you can see that it will move as our arm is moving and i think this is tracked perfectly now we can get rid of it now once you're done with this we are ready to create the ui so for that we can create another composition and this one we can call this screen and for the tonight it's completely up to whatever dimension you want for your ui to be so i'm going to make it something around let's say 1080 by 1600 which is a little bit wide this vertical one like that again it's completely up to you can make horizontal square whatever you want so after that we can import some footage into this now i have already imported a couple of these videos it's completely up to you can use whatever videos footage whatever you want and let's select this press s it's quite big so i'm going to scale it down like that now i want these to be like have rounded corners so for that we can do one thing we can create a rounded rectangle so if i just simply double click on it make sure that this composition is selected if i double click on it you can see that it will create this comp this shape layer now if i go inside the rectangle path i can increase the roundness to whatever i want so i think this looks good and we can probably select this and set the stroke to zero so after that we can change the track mode of this layer now we can just simply pick whip and select this layer now if you're using the older versions then you won't have this pick whip for track mat instead you will have a drop down which will say alpha mat alpha inverted so just select the alpha mat from that and now you can see our video is visible from this shape layer and we are pretty much happy with this so let's create more screens so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's open this up and inside this let's select this 
now replace it with the second video so hold on the alt key and just simply click and drag and it will replace this with the new video like that and the same way let's press ctrl d let's open this up select this hold on the alt key and just drag this video footage and it will replace it sometimes you will have to play with the scale and position of the new video like that in the same way create whatever number of screens you want i'm going to create six screens now i have created six screens again it's completely up to you can create eight ten whatever you want so once you're done with this we can select all of these screens and let's just import them into our video like that and here we have everything let's press s and i'm going to scale them to 50 percent now we can create a null object as well so right click new let's add a null object and let's make all of these layers 3d all of these screens and this we don't want this null to be 3d let's make all of these screens and this null 3d only now we can select this null and let's press p for its position and i'm going to change its z value to something like 500 what this will do it will push our null object in the z space now we can select these layers and we can start like parenting them so let's select this and parent this to this layer now we can select this press r now we are going to rotate them in the 3d space like that now how much you have to rotate them depends upon how many screens you have so in total we have six screens so i'm going to divide 360 by 6 which gives us this value of 60 so we have to like move this by 60 degree so i'm going to set this to 60 now it will rotate now let's select this one and let's just parent it to this and again we can add 60 to this 60 plus 60 and in the same way let's select this parent it to this layer and again let's add 60 to this let's select the fourth one parent it to this let's add 60 which is 240 let's parent this to this layer let's add 60 which is 300 and for the last one we just have to parent it because it is already at 360 which is at this location so we don't have to like change this so once you're done with this we can rotate this and you can see all of these are like in 3d if i rotate it you can see we have already created this in 3d space now our next step is to like align them so let's press s and i'm going to scale them down place it somewhere nicely so i think this looks good once you're done with this we can select this and now just parent it to this null object which we have over here now if i press play you can see all of these will stick nicely to our scene perfect so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so once we're done with this our next step is to animate them as my hand is moving and touching the watch so for that we can select this let's press r for rotation we are going to simply add a rotation for the y value so let's just pick some points at this point we have this first touch so somewhere around here we can have this keyframe let's move to a point where the swipe is complete like that and now you can just simply rotate it a little bit let's go further and just pick other point so at this point we can have another keyframe let's move where the swipe is complete and now we can again rotate it just keep on doing this so now I'm done with the rotation and if I press play, you can see our UI will move only when we are touching the watch and this is exactly what we want. So once we're done with this, we can make it a little bit more impressive by simply selecting the keyframes then pressing F9. Let's go to the graph editor. If your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's select all of these points and we can change the curves to look like that so that they have this smoother ending. I think this is much natural there is one more thing if you don't like the position then you can play around with it however you want you can make it a little bit up and you can also play around with the size to make them bigger like that for this one I'm going to like stick to this maybe we can make it a little bit bigger and just place it over here maybe a little bit more yeah now we are done with this now our next step is to add some really nice glow to this so for that we can just simply select one of these let's select the screen one and press ctrl d to duplicate this and the screen seven we can re just rename this to glow or the outer glow 
and let's open this up inside this we can get rid of the video we can enable this and i'm going to click on fill set this to none we only want stroke for this just increase the stroke perfect you can also change its color to whatever you want but i'm going to leave it to blue only and once you're done with this we can go back to this and we can drag this glow and let's just quickly change its layer color i'm going to set this to red so let's make this 3d as well now i'm going to duplicate it six times because we have six copies so one two three four five six now i'm going to select this one hold on the shift key make sure to hold on the shift key otherwise this won't work hold on the shift key just click and drag and place it onto this first screen and you can see that it will automatically align itself to this screen now select the second layer hold on the shift key and just pick the second layer and the third one will go to the third just repeat this step now we can select everything and let's just set them to add nice and we can apply glow to them let's search for glow let's drag it onto one of these layers maybe we can just put it onto this this glow so that we can see what we are doing let's just play around with this and we can probably duplicate this let's increase the amount let's duplicate it once again and this one we can make it like really bright yeah, i think this glow looks good once you're happy with the glow we can probably copy all of these glows we have three copies so just copy them and paste it onto the other layers as well just paste them there you go now you can see we have this very nice glow onto all of them after the glow there is one more thing that we can do we can have some like rays coming from this watch to make it look like a hologram so for that we can create an adjustment layer so right click new let's add an adjustment layer and on top of this i am going to apply an effect called light rays cc light rays and let's just drag it over here and you can see that it will give us this point now if i move you can see it will give us these very nice and bright points i can play around with the intensity if i set this to let's say 200 and just move around you can see we are able to see some really nice lights again it's up to you where you want to place it you can place it at this point as well if you think that this looks good or we can place it down below at this watch so that it looks like we have some like light rays coming from this point as well you can also play around with the radius like that so this will make it a little bit more intense but i'm going to leave it to 40 for now now since our hand is moving we want this to move as well for that we can use the center point but we don't want to do it manually so we can make use of this null point but there is one small problem if i select this and if i hold let's select this let's press p so we have all of these keyframes now if i select this and hold on the alt key click on this stopwatch it will give me this area where i can type the expression instead i can just simply pick whip and let's just pick this position value like that and if i click you can see that our point will automatically move to this location but we want it to be over here and now we can't move it because since the position value is it is taken from this null point and there is work around what we can do is we can have some offset to this so for that we can search for point control let's drag it over here and after this value what we can do is we can have plus and let's just add this point control now what it will do is it will basically add this the, these values to whatever position we have so if i set them to 0 comma 0 now it will bring it back because it is the original position where we have this null now if you want to move this all we have to do is just simply use these points to move them so let's just move them to this watch location so yeah, i think this looks good now if i press play you can see our these light rays will stick to this point and they are moving along with our hand as well perfect now we don't want them to be visible throughout so for that we can play around with this and let's pick a point so somewhere around here we can set the intensity keyframe let's move it a little bit ahead and we can set this to zero in the beginning now as we are clicking to this you can see that we are not focusing much on this because the background is equally lit so we can apply some exposure effect to the background let's select the hand fill this layer and 
let's pick some points so as our hand is clicking over here we can have this exposure and let's move a little bit ahead and i'm going to set the value to something like negative one so that it will like darken out the background and we can focus more on this ui perfect now there's one more thing you can see that this ui is like always there we actually want it to animate and come in as we are touching the watch so for that we can select these points these and let's just pick some points so somewhere around here we can have the position keyframe let's add keyframe for scale let's add keyframe for opacity let's select this press u now let's go a little bit ahead we can set the position down below just move all of them like that and also we can change the scale to zero and let's set the opacity to zero as well so that all of these will like come up like that now we can select them press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor and we can change the graph to look like that now let's go back and let's just quickly see if this is looking good we can offset them later on maybe what we can do is we can move these layers a little bit closer perfect now our next step is to like offset them so for that we can just pick a point so as we are touching it somewhere around here we can have the first layer visible so let's just select them we can press u to see the keyframe so at this point we can have the first layer let's move somewhere around 10 frames so hold on the shift key page down key or you can just manually move it like that and let's just move this layer to this point and let's move it again 10 frames now if i press play you can see they will start coming one after the but i think they are very slow so we can select all of them hold on the alt key and just click and drag to make them faster so now if i press play you can see all of these are coming very nicely and after that we have all the other animations already done so this is how you can create these kind of floating ui animations in after effects and i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one